Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Sirius in the Temple Spiritual Network. We're taking care of another video today. And um, I'm trying to be as frequent with the videos as possible. Although I am busy, I do try to uh, bring this stuff up for you guys so you guys can, uh, well, better yet, get the information that you need. So what are we discussing today? I told you guys this video was coming. It's dealing with what we need to understand right now. Okay? What it is that we need to understand right now in the world that we live in today. Hmm? In the world that we live in today, we have a lot of situations going on. We had the planetary convergence and now the chaos energy. And we had multiple convergences because this chaos energy is getting ready to really destroy and ramp up the... Um, the uh, the evidential end of this system a lot of people know what's going on a lot of people don't and when we're talking about like things like uh your stimulus checks and and and, and whatnot well oh god what's that about hold on a sec when we talk about things like your stimulus checks and stuff like this you know they're probably going to give you guys this this latest stimulus check with this guy in office. But don't. A lot of people think because they're getting money that the system is fine and everything's okay. No, no, no. See, this money, if you guys don't use it for what you're going to need, you're going to be in some serious shit. Let me explain. Right now, in the world that we live in, we have COVID-19 running rampant. We got all kinds of situations. Hmm? All kinds of situations. And, you know, with all these different variants coming out and all these different mutations, and now they're saying that they're going to have to give you guys three vaccinations instead of two because of the fact that these new variants, these COVID-19 shots are not working on these new variants. And now, even if you get the, the shot, they know for a fact that there is a very high chance that the COVID-19 shot will not be able to get rid of your COVID-19 um, affliction or whatever you want to call it, your COVID-19 situation, your, your so-called coronavirus and all that. So these, these, you know, they're, they're testing it on these new mutations for COVID-19. And what they're realizing is that... <laughs> This COVID-19 shit, it can't be stopped by whatever means it is that they're, uh, they're coming up with, like these vaccination shots and these syringes. But, you know, it's really a pandemic at the end of the day, you know, because of the fact that, well, you do have spores from Nibiru coming down here and messing people up. You know, if they're not on an alkaline, you know, if they're not on an alkaline frequency, if they're not taking care of what they need to take care of within their bodies, they can be affected by this. And then, of course, you have people saying that the government is actually behind all this and COVID-19 is just a pandemic. Whatever the case, because I'm really not going to get into all that. The point of this video is to let you guys know what it is you're supposed to be doing with all this unemployment money or, you know, these uh, so-called uh, stimulus checks and whatnot. Because people don't understand that something's getting ready to happen it's actually happening right now and it's actually increasing with time that's why what happened in um uh, the capital or whatever whatnot happened okay they're, they're trying to let you guys know this thing's gonna fall no matter what okay and you have other beings right now in the fourth dimension fighting amongst each other because you know it's all it's all a power grab at the end of the day so understand you need to be using your money for very important things what you're going to need in an emergency situation to where we're dealing with an apocalyptic event where all the power is going to be turned off people you not i said it once before in that pole shift video remember i told you guys once the pole shift happens your pole shift reversal you get that big loud boom across the whole planet everything starts shaking that's when your plasma apocalypse is going to happen, okay? So with that being said, you need to be preparing for that event. You need to be preparing. Now, now, 
like I said before, the choice is yours. You don't have to listen to me. The choice has always been yours. What I'm trying to explain to you is that a lot of people already know that something's coming. So it's either, look, the ones that are awake, if they're going to actually take care of what they need to take care of. Those that are sheep and are asleep, well, they're not going to take care of what they need to take care of. And they're going to be sorry in the end. And it's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. But we need to, we need to prioritize. What am I going to need? Ask yourselves this, people. What am I going to need in case of an apocalyptic event? Government shutdown, permanent shutdown, no water, no this, no that. Con Edison is going to be gone. We talked about that. There's not going to be no light. So we're going to talk about all this stuff. They're going to shut off all of the valves for water. A lot of you guys are not going to even know what to do when it's time to use the bathroom. You know, there's, there's a lot of things that you guys, you, you guys are not aware of. All right. So one of the big things that I see a lot of people talking about is, you know, uh, so if I'm trying to survive, what are the main things I'm going to need? Well, the main thing you're going to need, <laughs> I mean, this much, <laughs> this part is obvious water, decently, decent, clean water to drink. Okay. All right. Okay. And with that being said, if you're going to need water, okay let me explain this all right when dealing with these situations when you are dealing with a government shutdown you need to understand this water is not going to be available like it's supposed to be okay they're going to shut off all the valves for all these piping and, and, and different lines for water supplies and stuff like this the, the city's going to shut it down and all over the country because when all these jobs are gone, that's what's going to happen. Same thing for Con Edison. There's not going to be a no electricity. So you guys need to start taking care of these things now while you're getting the, 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 the amount of money to do so. If you're on unemployment, if you haven't getting stimulus checks, if you're, you know, if you got a, a business, if you got anything, a business, if you got anything going on, you should be saving money and putting money to the side as emergency money monies for for uh, what's to come because people are now losing um losing their homes eviction moratorium is not really working very well like it's supposed to be and you have all these uh uh you know places where you know it's, it's just you know people are really struggling and, uh, and you know I'm, I'm seeing what's going on around the world i'm making sure that i'm up to date with what's going on and i'm just letting you guys know for the record you know this has never happened in the entire history of america you guys think the great depression was bad what's, what's coming is going to be a billion times worse people okay all right just understand that okay you know i mean shit i mean hey it's up to you it's up to you you know uh i recommend you know getting gallon water jugs you know, getting gallon water jugs. I have, I have a lot of them myself. You know, three to five gallon jugs of water. Fill them up. You know, and um, keep them stored up because when the time comes, people, you're gonna need it. Believe me, you're gonna need it. Buy as many as you can. Get a lot of them off of Walmart.com. You know, get them off of Walmart.com. Don't go in Walmart's because eventually they're gonna have a situation where they want to lock people in Walmart. <laughs> I swear. Okay. Believe it or not, on all these Walmarts that's out here underground, you have re reptilian facilities underground where they're actually uh, uh, doing, a, 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 they're, they're harvesting little children and shit like this. It's crazy. It's insane. So, you know what I'm saying? I know this sounds crazy, yo. <laughs> Believe me. But understand, you're going to need a lot of water. Water is the main thing, source for life, man, that y'all going to need. To be able to outlast this situation, man. For real. Okay? Alright? Okay. See this right here? This is a, a blue 55-gallon water storage tank. And um, I bought one. Yeah, it's, it was $184. I bought one. I own one. I'm actually taking care of actually filling it up as we speak. Filling it up with water and whatnot. And I have a safe place to store it in my home. And yes, it's 55 gallons of water. Imagine having 55 gallons of water when some shit goes down, people. 
We talked about there not being Con Edison. We talked about there, you know, because think about it, people. I need you to really sit down and think about this. You're in a, an apocalyptic situation. Wouldn't you like to have 55 gallons to 100 gallons of water in your home? So when some horrible event happens, at least you have water, which was which is going to keep you alive for a very long amount of time. Okay, all right. I'm just giving you guys some advice because I'm trying to prepare y'all. I'm not trying to scare y'all. Don't get it twisted. Okay, we need to understand. Okay, you know I have one myself, and it works. It works beautifully. It's it's strong. It's sturdy. It's very durable. Okay. All right, it's very lightweight, although it is pretty big, but it is very lightweight. Um, of course, it'll become heavy when you fill it up with water, but that's natural. <laughs> uh, and, um, you know, I, I definitely recommend it. It's very easy to use. You know, you just fill it up at the top where the uh, cover is at the top, the black cover that's at the top. And then uh, basically you, uh, basically you, uh, on the bottom, on the bottom below, it has a valve, a lot like a, you know, like a like a faucet. You open it or you close it, and water comes out at the bottom, and it's great to use. You know, it's, you know, I I'm telling you, man, $184 is a bargain, okay? Because it could be a lot more expensive than that, okay? You have others as well, okay? You have others that can be start, you know, they're stackable. You can stack them on top of each other as well, you know. You know, hey, you know, it's your choice on, you know, how much water you think you're going to need for a situation like well, what's going on in the world right now. I definitely recommend it because um, you're going to need water for all your essentials, man. OK. All right. Believe it or not, when they shut off all the valves for water all over the cities and all over all over the country, because remember, when all these jobs go away, these people that are. <laughs> Are monitoring all the valves for water supplies and and you have your con Edison and all that all, all these people they all gonna lose their jobs all the essential workers in your hospitals and all that there's not gonna be no more relying on the system for your own well-being and safety people you're gonna have to do it on your own and this is what they're not telling you and I show up your boy serious to try to help you all out okay it's to help you all out, man, for real, because I, I do have good intentions. I really do want to help you people, but you guys have to put in the work. You got to put in the work, man. You got you can't be playing around with this, man. Oh, but I'm spending a lot of money on this stuff, and I don't really know if anything's going to happen. Hey, 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 listen, it's on you, all right? I'm a, I'm a nice dude. I'm just trying to help you out, all right? I'm just trying to tell you something, okay? All right? All right? I recommend, you know... Getting a lot of these, uh, you know, these, uh, these, 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 uh, these gallon jugs, um, like three gallons to five gallons, like I said before. Um, I don't know if you guys heard me, but three to five gallon jugs, I own them as well. And, um, you could fill them up with water. And what you could do is you could fill these up with water and like three to five gallon jugs. And then you could fill up the 55 gallon that I just showed you, the big blue one that I just showed you on the other screen. You could fill up the, 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 the big, uh, 55 gallon jug with one of these and it's faster and it's quicker that way you see what i'm saying you know because you want to be able to fill a container up with water as quickly as possible you know what i'm saying so you know it's just some advice you know you can either take it or not but um a lot of us already know that something's going down so you know there's a lot of people that are wondering, you know, oh, am I going to be safe? What's going to happen? Is there going to be a lot of violence going on? You know, this apocalyptic event, you know, oh, my goodness, you know, I'm worried, you know, this, that. Some people don't even know. Some people don't have a clue on what's going on because they just do nothing but watch TV all day and they're a bunch of sheep. They don't think for themselves. They don't know how to think for themselves. And that is really sad right there. Okay. All right. It is what it is, people. It is what it is. Now, another thing that you guys are going to need. Okay, this right here. Butane camping stoves, people. All right, I own a whole bunch of them. Okay, I'm looking at some of them right now. All right. I even own some of these right here. You might see it in the video right here. Look, look at that. See that right there? See that right there? See that? See that? See that? See that? I 
Oh, looks like the video froze. Weird. <laughs> well, the point is, is this is that it works well. <laughs> That's the point. That's the overall point that I'm trying to make. Alright. Yeah, I do own one of these. It's a butane stove, you know. This one's very small. It's small, but very, you know, it's small and very portable, you know. Um, I, I do own one of these, but I own many different types of styles and different types, you know. In general, I own many different types and, and stuff like that. Um, this was the video I was trying to show you. But, um, you know. This is an example of a butane stove, people. So in case you didn't know, it's a camping stove. Hey. All right, you see what he has? All right. You see gas one. That's another great... Um, Gas One is a great brand for for butane and gas sto uh, gas uh, gas and camping stoves and stuff like this. Um, and there's many different types of styles for camping stoves. You even have dual camping stoves where it brings two two sides. So that's like two sides where you could cook and stuff like this. It's pretty cool, you know. Um, I I definitely recommend it, guys. I definitely recommend it. Um, you know, because I mean, how you gonna cook? You know, how you gonna cook when no when no stove when 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 the when the gas goes out? You know what I'm saying? You know, definitely consider getting yourself this, people. You see that right there? That's the butane. And it, the, the company's gas one for these butane. Make sure that when you get one, it, it, if it says gas one on the on the butane stove, make sure to get gas one, um, uh, gas, uh, what is it, uh, um, gas containers. Like the gas one containers right here, the gas, the butane fuel. Make sure the fuel is, is, is the same brand as the stove is what I'm saying. Because people are getting it messed up. They're buying any kind of stove and then buying any kind of fuel. And they're seeing that the gas fuel and the chamber is not the same size. And they're like, oh shit, I wasted money and all this. And then they got to send it back and it's a waste of time and energy. Make sure that the, the, ga the gas fuel and the stove are compatible. They're the same brand. Okay? <laughs> Make sure for that. Okay? Because... People keep doing that and they keep asking me, oh, you know, this, that. So just know and see, you're going to need water for this. How are you going to cook with no water? Think about it. You're trying to make rice. How are you going to make rice with no water? See, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. You guys, some of y'all never th thought this deep about a situation and I'm trying to let you guys know. This country's going up and smoking. Before it does, I am trying to put you on some game here. Okay. You know, you got different types of gas fuel here, you know, butane fuel, all different types make sure to get the right one you know I got the, I got the premium version and I do have the gas one version which is this version I have the premium version and this version as well um, I got some more coming in the mail very soon you know I'm just telling you guys this these to get these canisters these portable camping uh, stove canisters because you're gonna definitely need it for the uh, and the ongoing road <laughs> that, that 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 you guys are going to be moving through in this uh in these energy cycles like i'm telling you guys that's why you guys see that time looks like it's moving so quickly right it's moving so fast it's because time is going to disappear you know, and, and and this this entire matrix construct is going to fall apart right 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 before your eyes and it's already happening as we speak okay so with that being said let's move on okay projectile weapons okay now this is uh hey this is your choice um i definitely recommend it you can either get it the legal way or you can get it the illegal way the choice is yours because very soon there won't be no thing as legal or illegal when the system crashes and burns it'll just be what you got and what you don't got people okay all right uh projectile weapons will become necessary to protect yourselves and your family members or whoever it is that uh you know you're at home with uh you know because of the fact that you know you're gonna have people trying to break in and enter you're gonna have people going crazy when there's no food and stuff like this and you're gonna have people acting a straight damn fool out here 
you're going to have a lot of people acting a fucking fool out here. So before that happens, excuse my language, before that happens, you might want to consider buying yourself a gun, getting yourself a gun license, or, <laughs> hey, you know, it's your choice. You can get it the illegal way. The choice is yours, people. I'm leaving that up to you guys. You guys do what you want to do. And um, no, I'm not provo mo promoting gun violence or anything like that. What people fail to understand is, is this. Yo, guns don't kill people. Stupid motherfuckers with guns kill people. So ultimately what I'm trying to tell you is a gun is a tool. A gun can't kill somebody without somebody behind the, fr the freaking trigger. Okay? So a gun is going to be useful for defending yourself, for defending your family members or whoever it is that you have to defend. You might even have somebody trying to break in and enter at night. You never know. Some people live in really bad areas. I definitely suggest that you guys think about purchasing um, some ammo and a gun and uh, going to the shooting range and, and practicing if you have to. Okay? All right? Any type of gun is fine as long as you know how to use it and um, you feel comfortable with it. This is reality, people. Okay? This is reality. All right? And, you know, if you don't consider getting one, you might want to get something else. Like, for example, you might want to get... You might want to consider getting a crossbow. You know? You know? You might want to consider getting a crossbow. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff. I already got a lot of all this stuff, man. Like, you might want to get a crossbow. You know? And I don't just have any type of crossbow. I have the latest type of model that is out from overseas. Like, I'm not playing around. I swear to God, I'm not playing around. All right? I'm just trying to let you guys know. Okay? You know... You know, you guys, you know, and, and, and of course, you know, don't walk around with this stuff. People keep stuff concealed. Don't be stupid now. But what I'm trying to tell you is uh, just be smart, people. Be smart because a crossbow is a silent, it's a silent weapon. Also, you can do hunting with it. You know, you can practice with it by a target, do target practice and stuff like this. Make sure you don't get caught, of course, you know. And, uh, you know, just keep it safe with you for whenever you need it. And, um, you know. It's a it's a great projectile weapon. It's all different types. You have the semi you have the automatic, you know, you have the semi automatic types, you have the manual you know, the more manual types where you have to do it all, all on your own and kick back and you know to start it up and all that. Hey, the choice is yours, people, but all I'm trying to let you guys know is that we're heading into a time well, we're pretty pretty much already there, but we're in a time frame now where if you're not taking precaution and you're not prioritizing uh your survival for a survival like situation where you're gonna die if you don't have certain essentials i mean I, I, you know i know a lot of you guys are worried and scared and nervous and stuff like this people always asking me questions hitting me up on the emails and stuff like people calling me just understand okay your everybody's life on the planet will pretty much be in jeopardy once the system goes out okay on because the, the system is already on its last legs as, as we speak okay it's already on its last legs as we speak so with that being said you know it's that hey it's up to you on what you want to do you know i'm not telling i'm not let me get this straight i'm not telling anyone to go around and hurt anybody i'm saying use it for self-defense purposes if you have to because someone's trying to kill you or rob you or something like that. All right? That's what I'm trying to say. Don't get it twisted. Okay? That's what I'm ultimately trying to say. You heard what I said. Okay? Or choose not to buy it. Hey, the choice is yours, man. I ain't forcing nobody to do nothing. All right? Okay. Now, you may need like a fire starter or something like that. Okay? This is a fire starter. Okay? You have different kinds of kits out there for fire starting, you know? Uh, you know, you have fire starting kits, you have matches and all kinds of stuff like a fire starting kit. You can buy them at, on Amazon and stuff like this. So you can create fires. You're definitely going to need like a lighter or something like that. You know, some kind of lighter or fire starting kit, uh, like a lighter or something like that for, um, your uh, butane stove. Because remember people, remember it's, it's, it's a, it's, it's a gas power stove, right? So you know, it's not going to be able to turn on the fire without, you know, some type of like, without some type of flame. So, you know, you can have, you know, 
you can buy your lighters and stuff like this or buy matches or whatever the case may be and when you do that well your uh your butane stove will be working you just put it up against it just like how you, you would use a regular stove and you could cook your food up and stuff like this buy as many butane canisters as you possibly can because that's that's going to be your life's source for cooking up your food people real talk all right get your matches get your get your whatever you know fire starting kit you know this is a fire starting kit this is an example of a fire starting kit you know you have many different types of course you know you have all kinds of stuff you know this is a fire starter right here this this right here is the example of a fire starter what in the world is this okay this this right here is an example of a fire starter I have plenty of them you know this is what it looks like so anyways moving on yes buy rice people okay all right because you you, you guys are already starting to hear about your food shortages and stuff like this and what they're not telling you is if you look this up right now all these food pantries and all these other places where all these people that are either homeless or they don't have a job and they're not homeless or they don't have no food in their home all these people that are going to these places to get food or whatever a lot of these places these uh these spots where people are getting the food at they're already reporting that in february all the way up to like the the rest of the year they're going to only be able to support 50 percent of the amount of people that's already coming in now so that's a whole 50 percent gone that are not going to get any food all right all right and if you think it's bullshit you can go on lisa cabrera on youtube and see this for yourselves people they're trying to already let you guys know yo listen we cannot support all you people that are trying to eat food out here and eventually we're, we're, they're already having to kick people out they're telling people, yo, we can't support you. You, you can't, We don't have enough food for all of y'all. And people are arguing and fighting, screaming and all this other shit. And we both know that you know, when people on the planet start to get hungry, they start acting really volatile, aggressive, angry. And they, they're ready to do some crazy ass next level shit to be able to get some food in their stomach or feed their child or whatever. You got people that have children, babies. You got people that have whole families that they need to feed, mouths to feed people. And you telling me you're not gonna be able to stack up and do whatever you want to do before the time comes then you're freaking crazy because when the time comes you're gonna have to rely on yourself okay all right i'm just i'm letting you know all right i got yo, yo hey okay i'm just letting you know i'm just letting you know i'm just letting you guys know man this is not this is not no play thing understand that this is this is not a joke over here all right canned food people canned food man canned food people <laughs> it shit ain't no joke man i'm just letting y'all know for the record man shit shit is no joke man shit is absolutely no joke at all man if you're not getting your canned food up people i don't even know what you're doing man i don't know what you're thinking but your your, your mind is in the wrong place your mind is in the wrong place if you're not getting the types of foods that are, are perfect for storage like pasta and stuff like this and how you gonna make pasta without no water see this is what i'm saying make sure you're listening to this video make sure you're listening to this video because you got a lot of new people coming into the channel and seeing all these videos coming up and they're like what is this about and all this this is about what's really going on and what the government don't want you to know okay you're right all right understand no canned food no food at all you go hungry hey we're gonna have famine in this country anyway so hey if you're not uh trying to get your canned foods up you're gonna be in a messed up scenario just letting you know when your stomach go you know starts growling and all that and you know you ain't got no food to put inside your body a lot of you are going to start going nuts and yes you're going to have people that eat a lot of meat out here that they're going to be on some they're going to be trying to go on some cannibalistic Hannibal Lecter type shit okay so you know a lot of those people are going to have to get gunned down or 
whatever the case may be, because they're out of their fucking mind. Okay? Alright? So, understand. Okay? Understand. You need to get your canned food up, get your canned beans and all that. And also, because people keep making the same mistake with this whole bean situation. Listen. Yo, if you're going to get canned food and you're going to get beans and all this other stuff, please do me a favor. Get yourself your, 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 you know, your Goya seasoning. Get yourself your tomato paste. All right. Have a whole bunch of freaking water because you're going to need it. All right. O okay. And, c c c and, and have oil. Okay. Uh, that's another thing. You guys are going to need to get your oil and stuff like this, okay? And get yourself your hunting knives, people. Get hunting knives or blades or whatever it is that you're going to need in case you get into a scuffle or a fight with somebody and, you know, they're trying to take you down or they're trying to fucking kill you. You're going to need to defend yourselves, people, all right? A lot. Of, you see how these people carry themselves in that show called The Walking Dead? You see how those people carrying themselves? They got weapons on their body everywhere. You're going to have to carry yourself like that in, a, in, a, in an apocalyptic world like that. And buy yourselves a blade sharpener. Okay, me, me and my boy, we was actually at the park uh, sharpening, a, sharpening some swords and shit like that. Yeah, man. Yeah, sharpening blades and all kind of shit. So, you know, all kind, all kind of shit. And the blade sharpener is going to be very useful. You know, some of y'all might say, you know, how am I going to use a blade sharpener with no electricity? You know, we're, we're, we're going to get to that, okay? Yeah, and of course, get your oil up, people. Buy gallons of oil. Buy a lot of oil. Have that shit stored up, man. Have it stored up. Stop playing around. Have it stored up so that that way it can complement the freaking water that you got. Because oil and water, you, 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 hey, you know, you're you going to have to cook, cook food up. And then y'all have certain foods and stuff like that that you're going to be making and stuff like this and it's going to be so hard to be able to cook stuff without no oil and stuff like this do you understand what i'm saying okay all right oh, oh and by the way get yourself a life straw people buy yourself life straws and stuff like this okay i got them i got them my damn self you know look up youtube look up life straw you know search that up on youtube and see how it works shit is amazing they figured out well, it was actually a brother who actually created this invention, uh, this invention actually. But um, if you actually look it up on YouTube, it's a life straw. You could drink out of any type of freaking water. You could drink water from a pond or river. It don't matter. The water could be like, you know, contaminated or some shit. This this life straw will literally pull out all of the, 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 the all of the water contents and pull out all the bad shit and leave all the bad shit out while you drink the water in its purified state. So this thing can be used and you can drink, <laughs> believe it or not, you could drink dirty water and it'll come out clean and purified on the other side while, where you're drinking. So you don't get none of the bad stuff and you get all of the good stuff. And this shit will literally keep you alive in an apocalyptic and emergency like situation, people. Hey man, the choice is yours. Look it up on YouTube. Shit is very important to have. Shit, I might buy me another another bundle of them, and, and you know that you know this is like five of them. You could get three, one, two, whatever whatever you're looking for. You can get as many as you want. Just letting you know about it, because some people don't know about it. Now dealing with uh, refrigerator and all this other stuff, get yourself something called because people want a, a power generator, but a generator is too damn loud. You know those, those gas based generators, man. Don't get those. Get yourself get yourselves something called a solar powered generator okay because it's solar powered and the sun is always up they ain't going nowhere and the sun is going to provide the, the, the right amount of energy because the sun is electrical also the sun is going to end up giving off enough energy what far more than enough energy to power up your solar power generators people make sure you buy a solar panel that is compatible with your solar power generator okay Usually the ones that are the same brand are usually the ones, or sometimes they come together. You know, you have a lot of them that's for a thousand dollars, a thousand eight hundred, two thousand dollars. You know, you have smaller generators. I know some people that got smaller generators and whatnot. You understand what I'm saying? But you're gonna need a generator, people, that's gonna keep your fridge up. If you got food in your fridge, wouldn't you like to be able to have a solar power generator to keep your fridge intact? While you guys are consuming food every single day and stuff like this, this thing will literally keep your fridge intact. 
So when, you know, some lights go out, no more Con Edison coming to your crib and whatnot, and you're there struggling or whatever, at least you have a solar power generator that will keep all the food in your fridge fresh and up to date without spoiling and stuff like this. Think about it, people. You have all kinds, you know. The one I recommend is uh, this one right here. This is the one I recommend. The EcoFlow Delta, 1800 watt, and uh, it's a portable solar power generator. It's great. It's very, you know, yeah, it's expensive, you know. Um, it's, well, $1,400, and then with the solar panel included, it's the EcoFlow. It's one of the latest, this is one of the, the mo is one of the most latest ones on the, on the market right now. And altogether with the solar panel, is about $1,800, or whatever, yeah, yeah, you know. Um, 1,800 and um, you know you got all kinds people you got all kinds don't you, you know it's it's you know it's it's you know most power generators are about uh, uh, power, uh, most generators in general are about 60 pounds to 70 pounds this one's about 30 pounds it's really light very what very easy to use works very well no trouble at all people it's very powerful works very well and you you won't get many complaints with this one this one and it's silent too so nobody will know that you got a generator and that's golden right there because everybody's going to be snooping around and getting themselves involved in other people's business because you know how people are people don't like to mind their own business if everybody want to know what the next man is doing to keep himself alive and an apocalyptic type type, type deal and in a time frame like that you can't trust nobody for real for real you can only trust trust the people that are in, in your immediate family, or not even in your family, because family will turn on each other in a, in a situation, in a moment in a moment like this. Even family will turn on each other. You gotta know in your mind and in your heart who the hell you gonna trust in a scenario such as this that we're speaking about, people. Okay, because family will turn on each other. Also, I've seen it myself. I've seen it with other scenarios with different people. You got shows on on Netflix where they're showing you shit like this. Like they're trying to let y'all know, yo. You even got people in your own family that will stab you in the back. You got friends that will stab you in the back. You got to know who the hell you're dealing with. I'm just letting you know, for real. I've seen situations like that. Two people that were cool with one another. And then they just, you know, the next man just want to turn on them for no reason. You know? Yeah, we, we, uh. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to, you know, for your stimulus checks, people. Use your stimulus checks wisely, people. You know, your Pfizer vaccination shot, people. This this whole deal with Pfizer, man. <laughs> you got, you got, you got a, a facility in India, I believe it was, that got completely blown up. And it was fire everywhere and all that. They, you know, they can't even contain this stuff. You know, I'm hearing that they can't even keep this stuff... Uh, they can't keep the stuff fre fresh at the right temperature, so it's constantly getting damaged or whatnot. And people are dying all over the world taking these vaccination shots. You got some black dude that took the vaccination shot, and he died, and and, and, and he died a few days afterwards, and they want to cover the shit up. And I'm trying to tell people, yo, do not take this stuff. Let these sheep out here take this stuff, all right? Straight up. All right? All right? Your Cottonelle wipes. People talking about, oh, so what am I going to do? Am I going to use the water to clean my body up? No, you don't know. That, that water is for food and for consumption. The water that you got in your crib is for, for food and consumption to keep you alive. To clean your body, get yourself Cottonelle wipes. It's non-alcohol based, which means you can clean your whole body with it. Okay? Buy a whole bunch of the stuff. Because you're going to need it to clean your body. Okay? All right, all right. Buy a lot of deodorant. You're gonna need that. Anti press. Um, uh, what was they call it? Uh, uh, anti perspirant type deal with your deodorant and stuff like this. You know, for real. For real. Really consider getting yourself this stuff, guys. All right. What is this last one? Oh, yeah. Because a lot of you guys talk. You see, you keep seeing these people all online and on TV. Well, I don't watch TV, but some people do. And, and you see it online and on, you know, social media and stuff like this, YouTube. All these people fighting over toilet paper and shit like this. And I'm there looking at this shit. I'm like, look at these people. They look like a bunch of fucking idiots fighting over toilet paper. You have condensed 
uh, tissue napkin towels that you can use to clean your body, you know, when you're using the bathroom and stuff like this, they're condensed, uh, they're condensed toilet paper towels, man. They're condensed. That That's what they look like, you know. Uh, it's condensed, you know. And um, you put it in water. You put it, yeah, th this is what it looks like. It looks like tablets. See that? It looks like tablets. And it's condensed um, toilet uh, uh, towel, portable hand wipe for outdoors. You can use it for outdoors. You can use it to clean your body when you're using the bathroom or whatnot. And it's condensed. You put it in water and it opens up and turns into like, you know, uh, you know, uh, toilet tissue paper, basically, you know, uh, and you can use it on the outdoors, camping, whatever. You can use it in the privacy of your own home, of course. And, uh, you know, it, it's, you know, you, you, I mean, look at this right here. I, I think she's going to show some. So let's see. Wait, what, what is this? Oh, no, that's the wrong thing, but whatever. Yeah, so you see, they got, you know, compressed towels, portable towels for traveling, camping, hiking, disposable, durable, coin towels. Yeah, and the thing is, is this, not only that, but they're also, um, like, they, they're, um, I believe, what is it called, biodegradable. So they go into the earth after, after, after usage, you know, um, you know, and, uh, Really consider getting yourselves this stuff, people. You have many different types online on Amazon that you can get yourselves, people. You know, the stuff works very well. It's great material. You know, it's compressed. It's, it's, it's compressed uh, towel, compressed tissue paper. And um, I definitely recommend it. Uh, you got the stuff all over the place online here. You know? I mean, you got some stuff right here. This is compressed. Um, you know, you got you got it for cheap. You got it for expensive. You know, uh, of course, you know. You see? Yeah, so, you know, look that up on Amazon. I definitely suggest getting you get yourself some people. They come in many different sizes as well. If you need something that's bigger than the average one, as you can clearly see, they come in many different sizes. As you can clearly see. See that? They come in many different sizes. See that? Really consider getting yourselves getting yourselves compressed um you know, uh, compressed um, tissue wipes, man, or tablet wipes, compressed towel, bath towel wipes, or compressed, you know, tablet towel, coin tissue wipes, or whatever, whatnot. You know, definitely consider getting yourself, um, can consider uh, getting this for yourselves, people. And this is all I really had to say for now. Um, there are, you know, other things that you should get like a pry axe or a tomahawk, uh, you know, this, you know, a pry axe, um, definitely. Oh, another thing, try to get yourselves, if you can try to get yourself a fire extinguisher, you know, one that's very portable that can be used if, if at any point there's a fire or something like that, or a fire is about to start, get yourselves a fire extinguisher because you might really need that. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, um, a lot of you guys may uh, want to uh, invest in uh, also getting yourselves an electric bike. And, you know, an electric bike, you know, all you got to do is just charge it up and, and you can go all over the place when you need to. It's fast travel for very cheap. You can get yourselves an electric bike, you know, like um, if you go on. Um, hold on. See this? An electric bike. See that? It's an electric bike. All you got to do is charge it up and the damn thing works very well. Yes, they are a bit expensive, 400 bucks, 900 bucks, whatever the case may be, but an electric bike will do wonders for you guys when uh, there's no more oil for gas or whatever, when there's no more gas or whatever. 
you know this stuff will work wonders for you guys so i'm just i'm just putting that out there because if you have a solar power generator you know the solar power generator could really help you guys charge these bad boys up and be able to use them across the city whenever you need to get somewhere to be able to take care of whatever it is that you need to take care of so with that being said this is your boy Siri serious inner temple spiritual network and i'm out i gotta charge this laptop up <laughs> i'm out guys peace and take care of yourselves like comment and subscribe it's your boy serious inner temple and i'm out peace serious out